What the F? <laughs> Trying to censor those out, you know, in case. Because I know YouTube gets all sensitive about the F word for some reason. It is literally snowing outside. Like a, not a blizzard. I don't want to overplay it. But like, it is just pouring snow. Like, what the hell? I mean, obviously, you know, because we had a bunch of warm weather, it's not sticking to the roads or anything. But everything outside is covered. Like, look at this. Can't even work on the deck. Like, there's like two inches of snow out there. One of my payments came through, you know, so I splurged and bought that computer, something I've really wanted for a while. Um, and then today, Shelby goes back to work, so I was like, cool, when I get up, I'll go to Lowe's, get my last batch of wood, and get that deck knocked out. She gets up, lets the dogs out, comes upstairs, wakes me up. She's like, it's a blizzard outside. I'm like, huh? And she opens the window, I'm like, what the hell, dude? Like, I have no words. Like, we live in Michigan, and I know, like, Michigan and Ohio and a few surrounding states, like, the weather is always just stupid and unpredictable like this. But this is, like, way worse. You know, like, normally it'll go from, like, warm and sunny to cold and then back to warm and then cold. We've had spring, summer, fall, and winter in the past five days, like every single season, literally. We've had bad thunderstorms. We've had terrible winds. We've had hot, sunny days where like I almost turned the AC on because it got warm in the house. And today we have literal snow. Like, and I'm not talking like it just got cold and it snowed for a second. Like it's snowing and sticking to the ground. I can't, oh man. I don't wanna say I can't stand living here, but like I can't stand this state no more. Car insurance is crazy. The weather's crazy. My God. I'm sorry. You guys are probably a lot of you are like still getting snow or something. I know like up north in Michigan, like they're still getting hammered with snow. Like, like it's still winter up there. It's crazy. <sighs> but yeah, this computer is sweet. So hopefully you guys like the chili video. Um, been kind of busy getting that computer set up and you know messing with the settings and stuff and then of course playing games so i haven't really been on youtube too much to you know check the comments or post i actually haven't even posted today um it's probably gonna be a late upload if i even get one up but uh yeah hopefully everyone's doing all right um hopefully you guys like the angry grandma clips those are funny those she is funny she cracks me up so I kind of do like doing my normal vlog, but uh, kind of do like a little twist on it. Um, one of my favorite, because I'm, you know, like a techie kind of guy. One of my favorite things that, you know, people I watch on YouTube do is like show, you know, what their computer setup is and stuff like that. And, you know, I've talked about mine plenty enough, but I don't actually think I've ever showed it. Um, to be honest, it's really, I mean, the computer setup is great, but the desk and organization and clutter is terrible right now because, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm redoing that room upstairs, which I'll show you right now in case maybe a lot of you probably aren't on my other channel. So you might not have ever seen that. Um, yeah, let me go show you that real quick before I get into anything else. Okay. So this is our back bedroom. We've got a three bedroom house, you know, obviously master bedroom, me and Shelby stay in um, the bedroom over here, this is the closet, but like on the other side of this wall, that is like Shelby's room, like her makeup room. She's got her clothes, makeup, vanity and all that stuff. And then this has always been like my spare bedroom. It has always had this like wood paneling, this crap right here. And this one doesn't look too bad cause it's like the, the seams are filled in or something like that. But the other ones, they were like really deep lines right there. Just like, and it would go all the way down the wall. Um, the ceiling was like this. This is Shelby's room. Oh, yeah, you can see the wood paneling right here. Don't mind the paint job. We painted this room so fast when we moved in. Um, Got to redo it for sure. But you can just see it. Like, to me, I just... A lot of people like that. I just personally don't like that look. Um, I don't like the tiled ceiling look either. Which is what this room had. But 
and also you know one little light um so so far i've ripped all the wood paneling off um i ripped all the tiles off the ceiling i've done the drywall on the ceiling it's not again like not again but as with a lot of stuff you see on my channel like this is the first time i'm doing like any kind of like drywall work or anything like that especially ceiling and stuff like that so it's not perfect there's some big gaps there are some you know crooked pieces and whatnot so i do know that trust me i do have to redo some of the stuff but just a heads up i'm not you know a professional i don't do this you know on the side i'm learning as i go so i redid the ceiling um i did recess lighting which i really like i've always liked recess lighting because especially in a smaller room it makes it feel a lot bigger because you don't have any kind of fixture like hanging down um so i've got that done well you know i've got the recess lighting and i've got the drywall on the ceiling hung and then so this was under the original like the wood panel like the house you know everything was drywalled and wallpapered with this wonderful wonderful design and then apparently when they renovated they decided that this nasty looking wood panel stuff was an upgrade god i'm so glad i wasn't alive back then but so they put that right over and that's what that's what frustrated me too like they put that right over this so any outlets or like even phone jacks and stuff like that everything was like sunk into the wall and nothing ever fit right um and this house had baseboard heaters, which is those heaters that go like, you know, down where you can see the, the break in the, the wallpaper. Um, legal code around here, at least, is like you're not allowed to have, I believe it might it might even be changed. But at the time, if there was a baseboard heater, you were not allowed to have an outlet on that wall, like, or... It had to be like a certain length above it or something like that. I don't remember, but so almost all these bedrooms up here, except for our master bedroom, because it was redone more recently than the rest of the rooms, only had one outlet. So no outlets, no outlets, no outlets, no outlets. And then there was one poorly added right here. So I cut the wall open. I had an outlet there, an outlet there. I'm hanging the TV in here, so I put one up there, an outlet there, 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 and then over there behind that radio cooler thing. I also, um, when we got our high-speed internet hooked up, all they did over here was just drill the hole right through the siding and ran the cable through. And they put like a jack in like that, but they just literally screwed it into the drywall. So it sucked. Like it was crooked. It bothered me. Um, really piss poor design they did. So I ran the cable because originally when we bought the house, like seven years ago, I was going to put a desk there, but I ended up not using this room. It just kind of filled up with, you know, when you move all those boxes, you never end up touching that you kind of just hang on to for years and years and years. It filled up with stuff like that. So, um, I ended up just the power outlet was over here. So he just temporarily like ran a cable just right across the floor and we plugged it in right here. And, um, so I eventually, well, nothing ever changes. It was like that for years, but now my desk is going to go right here. I'm going to have a, let me zoom out. But anyways, I'm going to have an L shaped desk that goes from here and then over to here, basically where the door opens and, you know, I'm gonna have my monitors and then I'm gonna have a TV hanging up here, but I wanted, you know, my modem and all that to be right by the computer so I can, you know, hardwire it and not run off Wi-Fi. Um, so I ran the cable through the wall and installed an actual outlet box with a cable jack. So, you know, now everything looks really nice and clean. Um, I got two pieces because back here is a chimney actually behind this wall. So there's no room for insulation or anything like that. So I've got these hung up. This wall is our master bedroom. So I'm not worried about like insulation, but these walls, look at this. No insulation at all. So our upstairs has always been noticeably warmer when it's summertime and noticeably colder in the winter than our downstairs. Well, now I know why. There's no insulation in any of these walls. So that's what this is. I've been, I worked on taping these off with just like some um, clear like saran wrap. It's not saran wrap, but it's like a 
drop cloth type thing. And then I drilled holes up here and I'm going to rent one of those insulation blowers and blow insulation into each one of the cavities. And then I'm going to roll it, just get a roll to do under the windows. And uh, then I can actually start drywalling. So I'm not too far away from being done. But as of right now, it's not done. And because of the stupid coronavirus stuff, you can't rent a lot of that stuff. So unfortunately, I'm just kind of sitting here on it. But yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm at with this room right now. Um, trying to think of what else. That's pretty much it for now. I mean, I just, I'm going to run a corner desk, you know, so I'm going to have a nice setup up here. Um, probably like my Windows monitors and gaming setup on this side and then my Mac over here. And then obviously the TV up on the wall, you know, a couch behind here, you know, so you can hang out and whatnot. But um, so basically the reason why everything's downstairs and, you know, kind of like cluttered right now is because I'm just using this old like, I think I bought this desk back when I was in high school. So this is the setup I'm running right now. Um, it looks worse than normal right now because of this computer. Um, obviously, like, I literally just bought it yesterday. So I haven't, like, organized anything. But also this desk, if you can see, like, it's just it's worn out like it's scratched it looks dusty but like it's just it's literally worn out like it's all like little scratches and imperfections um with just the mac and the tv it was fine but now that i'm running two computers on it you know like i, I just use the tv for uh my xbox um so now that i'm running like two computers i'm actually gonna have a actual computer monitor in the next couple days it's being shipped right now nothing is in stock anywhere dude it was crazy but I want, you know, an actual desk that can handle all this stuff. You know what I mean? Like, we got a printer for the rear times we use it. And I just, we've got so much stuff just shoved everywhere. I don't have any cable management going on. And again, I promise you, it's not always like this. It looks way worse because I had to shuffle a bunch of stuff around just to get this computer plugged in and going. Um, but, so I was looking online... And just trying to find a cheap desk, you know, something that was like under a hundred bucks, preferably like 50 or 60, but, um, just something a little bit bigger than this, you know, with some storage, like this has got one shelf and then over here, it's just, you know, there's a spot down there, obviously for like the tower, but there's nowhere to store anything. And I hate having the keyboards on top, but with most desks, I'm, I'm noticing that keyboard trays aren't a thing anymore. So that's no big deal. I got two anyways, so I can't really you know, use one in a sense. So I found this one at Staples. Um, I really like it. It's small, it's bigger than this, but it's still small. So right now, temporarily, why this stuff is down here in our like living slash dining room, it's gonna come out a little bit. You know, it'll be an L-shaped. And I don't think it'll look too bad. Um, it, I mean, honestly, I think anything would look better than this clutter, so. That is my project for today in this snow is to buy this stupid desk or buy this nice desk and put this stupid thing together because I hate assembling furniture like that. It sucks to clean this clutter up and make our downstairs look a thousand times nicer. It's definitely worth 80 bucks. Um, yeah, so that's my plans for today. Um, like I said, this is just a random like I bought this. God, probably a year or two ago, just a, it was a cheap TV on sale at Walmart to have in our back bedroom. Um, it's just a little like 32 inch. It's only like 720. It's not even high definition. That's why the resolution is so crazy big. I can't stand it, but you know, for like Xbox or watching TV, you know, it's perfect. It's just fine. But so that, you know, could go in our back bedroom and have a TV up there again, you know, for like guests or, you know, family that spends the night or something. And then I'll have an actual monitor. Um, I think it will be here Friday. I'm going to go ahead and get ready um, and go by that desk and I'll be back. All right. So finally, it's like an hour later since I made that last clip that you just saw. Um, so I've got that wiki buy thing that like automatically tries coupon codes when you check out online. And um, it said one worked, but like nothing had changed on my total you know like after tax and stuff it was still like 89 bucks or i think it was like 90 and some change maybe no 
Yeah, I think it was like 89 bucks and some change. So I was like, oh, well, damn. So I clicked on it and it said $25 off your order of a uh, hundred or more. And I was like, well, damn, so I can spend, this is $84.99. So I need to spend $15 and one cent and then I'll get $25 off. So I'll, I can spend another like 15 to get this cheaper. You know, I'm like, well, damn. So I'm trying to think of like any random thing I could want or, you know, need. And then, uh. Ended up running across these for $24.99. And I was like, all right, so that'd be like the same price then. So I added them in my cart, and my total was pennies more to get a pair of speakers too. Because I forgot, you know, the the Mac, you know, I'm, I'm so used to Macs. And they got a great sound system built in. It's got like a subwoofer and stuff, I think, inside of it. But uh, it's got great sound, so you don't need external speakers. I forgot, you know, most monitors the speakers if they even have them are complete garbage so i was like yeah i'll grab these add them to the cart so i essentially got them for free so that's pretty sweet so i'm on my way to pick them up now all right you guys saw me just bitching about the weather a few minutes ago right that was literally like an hour ago so now it is almost 40 degrees out and sunny and 99 percent of the snow is gone I am over this. This weather is garbage. But I am on my way to pick up the desk right now um, and the speakers. Uh, a lot of the roof on the house is like steaming because the sun just started blasting. Um, yeah, anyways, though, I'm on my way to pick that stuff up. Um, I did not look at the size of the desk. Obviously, you gotta put it together. And I'm really hoping it fits in my car. It's not too big, so I think it should, but I guess we'll find out. Um, might have to strap it to the roof or something. Go uh, across the street to Lowe's and get some straps. But uh, now I'm starving, man. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. I haven't even eaten yet. I feel like I'm on repeat, but man, I got to get on a better sleep schedule. This is bad. Like those couple times I bitched about it at first, you know, staying up to like three, four, even five o'clock in the morning that one night. I'm like, all right, you know, I pushed it a few times. I got to start. There's no point in me being up this late. Last night and the night before, it's like five o'clock in the morning and I am wide awake. It doesn't matter if I'm just sitting there watching TV or laying my head back on the couch. Like I'm like wide awake, like ready to go. Um, the one night I didn't even get to bed like I laid down around six and I was just laying in bed like it was the light was you know the sun was starting to come out or whatever so like it was light outside that was bad and then I slept till 12 30 or one o'clock but um yeah so now I definitely need to kind of get on that like it's only April 15th you know I still got almost three weeks before I gotta go back to work but I do not want to be staying up that late. I hate sleeping this late. You know, like it's, I feel like I essentially just got up about a couple hours ago and it's already, you know, almost five o'clock in the afternoon. So, but all right, I'm not going to ramble your guys' heads off. I'm almost there to pick this stuff up. Then I'm going to grab some food and I'll be home. That was simple. Um, God, there, I like them. Um, you go inside the door and they make you like, they got hand sanitizer and stuff like that. They're like, you know, you got to use all that before you can go in. So that's cool. Um, guys, I'm starving and I've been craving KFC. Yeah. So anyways, it, you know, cool. I, I appreciate their effort though. You know, I appreciate, you know, asking customers to, you know, sanitize and stuff. It said grab a mask too, but there was no mask. I'm like, Oh my God, you guys are, I just, that's kind of bugs me because, you know, like they say doctors and nurses and hospitals, like can't get enough masks but yet then there's companies that are like here take a mask here take a mask here take a mask you know what i'm saying so like i don't know i guess i'm kind of indifferent about that um but yeah anyways getting kfc i haven't had kfc in forever but everywhere else was packed man wendy's mcdonald's all that had lines wrapped around the building i want to cook dinner but like it's a little out you know it's like 4 40 right now and I know damn well that I'm not going to be making dinner till probably nine o'clock or later, you know, cause Shelby doesn't get off work till tonight. She's off again at like a little after 10. 
so I'll probably start cooking around like nine. So, you know, that's, this is essentially like my lunch. I didn't have breakfast, so not that I'm justifying fast food. It is what it is. That's unhealthy, but gotta love some fried chicken. Hello. You too, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so, <clears throat> got the house torn up, getting ready to build this desk. And then I look outside. Remember, you just saw me driving to Staples and it was sunny and warm. I mean, I'm not gonna say warm, but like 40. It is a literal blizzard outside again. Well, no, not blizzard, but it is snowing like crazy. This is insane. It's the middle of April. I am so over this. I can't even. <laughs> this is nuts. Um, I mean, it sucks too because it's like I've got so much time now to be outside doing yard work and like, you know, house, you know, clean, like power wash the house, power wash the driveways, you know, take care of a bunch of yard work that needs to be done. And I can't because now it's snowing outside. I don't get it. Even the dogs are just like, what the hell? But I'm going to put this desk together. Um, I would record it, but I'm watching a movie right now, so they're going to mute the sound out anyways probably so i'll be right back all right so you know like i said you just saw me saying that i was gonna put my desk together right <sighs> tried so i get if any of you guys ever put furniture together you know like desks or bookshelves or anything like that you know it's a pain in the ass it sucks it's I've done it so much that like it doesn't bother me, but it, not to say that it's not still annoying and tedious. So you know what these things are, right? these little things that are in almost like any wooden furniture that you got to put together, right? Yeah. So stupid me, and this isn't my fault, but it's my fault for not paying attention. Um, the way I, the way it became really easy for me to put you know furniture and stuff like that together the big thing is like i would open the box up take the directions out and say like okay i need uh piece a and piece b and then i dig through the box and look for that and, you know you got like a bookshelf or something some of that wood is heavy you know so it, that just makes it a pain in the ass so now what i do i open the package up and kind of like lay all the big parts like every board and panel you know i lay it like i set it up somewhere so I can see like, you know, A, B, and C, and D. I don't put them in order, but just so I can glance over and be like, okay, there's number, there's number three in, you know, board A and whatnot. So I can grab it real quick. And then I take all the hardware out and I lay it on the table, you know, cause usually it's numbered or whatever. So this desk comes with a big red bag and that's where like all the screws and you know, all that stuff is. So I open that up and each bag has like, you know, number two, number three, number four. I'm like, oh, well, let me, you know, lay them out of order. So I'm like, huh, there's no number one. That's weird. So I put two, three, four, five, and six out on the table and I start working. I almost always, and I feel like maybe I don't, but I feel like I almost always look at the parts list, but it's all the same. You know, you've got the parts for whatever you're building and then your hardware, you've got these things, you've got the little screws that go with these. And then you usually got some nails or other screws or nuts and bolts and whatnot. So this time I wasn't thinking nothing of it, but I did think it was weird. I was like, why would they go like two through six instead of like one through five? Well, bag number one has these in it. Guess who didn't have bag number one in the box? Me. So when I got home, I stopped at KFC. I was like, normally me being me, like I'm super impatient. I would bring my food inside then come back out get the desk and kind of like eat and build and you know work and stuff but i was like i want to clean that area of the house where my desk is first like there's you know garbage i want to throw away you know old paperwork and stuff like that that i want to get rid of 
and then when everything's clean, then I'll work on the desk. You know, that way I got a clean area to start with and I don't like put the desk up and then start cleaning, you know what I mean? So once I get the desk up, I'm good. So it's like 5.30, I start putting the desk together, get like 20 screws and nails and whatnot in it, screwing all the stuff together that needs to be screwed together. So then the next part is you take the two halves and like you put it on those long nuts that like get tightened with these or whatever, those screws. Well, I set my screws there, or I put those screws in and then I grab the panel, I put it where it's supposed to go, and I go to grab these, and I'm like, um, where are these? I don't have these. So I got really mad, like, instantly I was just like, don't tell me that it didn't have these. Like, I've put so much furniture together, and not one time have I ever been missing anything. Like, I have lost stuff. Like, you know, sometimes you open those packages and it just kinda like, you know, the package bursts open and you drop some stuff or whatever, you know, and you find it under the couch or something, but I have never been straight up missing something. So I was pissed and I'm like, God dang it. and I'm pretty sure Staples website said they only had this one in stock. And I'm like, dude, I'm not taking this thing apart and like trying to package it back up. Like these boxes are glued shut, you know? So like once you open it, that box is pretty much useless. I don't know how the hell it's all put in there. I'm not gonna be able to get that styrofoam back in the way, you know, that it was in there and stuff like that. So I was pissed and I call Staples and mind you, now it's like 5.45, 5.50. And I'm like, conveniently Staples closes at six o'clock. So I'm like, even if things are like, hey, yeah, we got some of those in stock, come grab a pack, you know, it's on the house or whatever. Even if they did that, I'm not gonna make it in time. Like, I'm like, cool, so they're gonna be closed and I'm almost positive they don't have this desk in stock and not thinking like, this is a really universal part that I could probably get out of any furniture thing. So a lady, I told her, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm putting, I just bought a desk. Um, I'm putting it together in my living room here. I've got everything all, you know, ripped open and it's missing part of the hardware that I just realized halfway through. She's like, oh no, I'm so sorry. I was like, no, it's not your fault. You know, I don't, if I sound rude or anything, I apologize. I'm just a little upset, you know, trying to figure out what I do now. And she's like, well, which, which desk was it? So I tell her and she's like, all right, let me go see if we have one. And you know, she was just going to grab the hardware out of it. And I was like, I'm pretty sure online it said it was only one, but she still went and checked and I'm on hold for like five minutes. Then some guy answered the phone. He's like, hey, sir. You know, he apologized. He's like, yeah, we don't have one of those. You know, otherwise we're just gonna rip it open and, you know, give you the hardware out of that one. But he's like, what I can suggest is on the instructions, there'll be a phone number somewhere. You can call them and then uh, they'll send you those parts, you know, absolutely free. Obviously they won't charge you. And he's like, most of the time they'll overnight them. And you know, mind you, it's six o'clock. I'm like, all right, well, you know, I appreciate your time. Thank you for, you know, checking at least. He's like, oh yeah, no problem. So I get off the phone, I'm like, it's six o'clock, dude. Like, even if I call them, they're like, yeah, we'll overnight him. Like, it's not gonna be sent out till tomorrow. So I'm not gonna get it until today is Tuesday. No, today's Wednesday. So they're not gonna go out till Thursday and then overnight and then they'll be here Friday. And meanwhile, I've got an entire desk, like essentially ripped apart in my living room. You know, I don't wanna like, I was pissed, I'm not gonna lie. Super pissed. But uh Lowe's had a five pack, and they're pretty universal, like for from what I understand, they're all the same size. Um I did measure though, so these should work perfect. Oh, I measured with a tape measure as accurate as I could. But these should work out perfect. They did fit. I brought the screw with me so I could like you know make sure it was gonna like lock into it or whatever. So they worked. But on the website they had a bag of five for it was like 297 or something like that i'm like oh that's not bad so i'll need two bags six bucks whatever no big deal i mean it sucks but it is what it is you know people make mistakes so i get there the only thing they have like there's not even a spot like on the lowe's app it'll tell you like exactly where stuff's at like the only ones they have was the four pack for five dollars so i had to buy three of these for fifteen dollars to have ten of them and I'm gonna have extra. I'm like, I don't need extra. So I bought two of them. And then my old computer desk, I know there's some in there. 
So I'm gonna attempt to just like drill through it and like push them out or something. Cause I'm not spending an extra five bucks for two more of these, so.